Hi everyone, welcome back. Let me show you what I got going here, my man cave. I got my observatory all set up. Come on inside here. And uh, it's getting a little cool here now. It was a beautiful day in Minnesota. In fact, uh, Thanksgiving weekend, it got to be 50 degrees, if you can believe that. It's, it is cooling off tonight. Um, so I thought I'd set up the observatory and uh, let me show you what I got going here. Um, I'm going to show you what I got on the screen for right off the bat here. I got uh, the moon in view. I don't have a lot of targets uh, for tonight lined up. Um, it's going to be more of a learning practicing session here for the rookie that I am. Um, Jupiter has gone down too far. Saturn as well. Um, Mars is, it seems like Mars is never always any detail. But uh, I'm ready to go. I'm, I may try Andromeda Galaxy, but um, Andromeda Galaxy is right above the moon right now. And it might, the moon will probably wash out uh, Andromeda Galaxy, but I got to try. Anyway, I want to try a couple experiments with uh, um, this camera that I'm using. So let me show you what I got. I got um, the Celestron scope here in tripod and um, got the ZWO camera. Let me turn on my headlamp, it might be a little bit better. And I got a flip mirror here. Um, this was a game changer for me. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm fairly new at this. Um, the problem is, uh, what I used to have is I, I would find my target in my eyepiece here and then I'd remove the eyepiece, put the camera in there, and all the putts in and bumping, and um, it would be out of sight. I wouldn't be able to see it. So I uh, got word that uh, what you had to try is a flip mirror, and that's exactly what I got going here. It's a little lever here. So this way, I got to go into my monitor, and then if I flip it the other way, now I can see it through the eyepiece. And as you can see, the monitor is uh, black so pretty cool that was the ticket so the observatory works nice I'm all set here uh, I got a chair got my heater going got the door closed and uh, and I got the moon going yeah it looks good so I'm gonna see what I can do as far as uh, uh, getting a drama galaxy now but I make no promises but uh, here's my setup. I call it the Portable Affordable Observatory. It works pretty slick. Um, I'm going to show you a couple other things about the, this observatory. I got this flap here. I call it the front tarp. And what I can do is I can close that up, uh, what I'm not viewing, and get a little bit warmer in here. Um, and then when you want to view, you, you put her down and uh, open up the window. And I got one zipper door. You could put more than one if you wanted to. Right here, that works pretty slick. I could cinch it up a little tighter if it was really cold out, but uh, actually it's quite comfortable in here. It's remarkable. Um, so, anyway, if I get any pictures that are worthwhile, I'll put them on this video. But it's going to be more of a uh, learning session this time. So, um, have a good one. Thanks for viewing. So I did want to the mention right a couple other things for my way, but I have to say I'm pretty successful at it. If you look at the moon here, the tracking is unbelievable. And it's all about getting your tripod level. Start off by take take the extra time and level your tripod, and then polar align it. Um, the way I polar align it for you guys that aren't real familiar, uh, I got an eyepiece on the back of my tripod and I look through and on the inside there is a uh, a little map that shows uh, the Big Dipper and Casiopeia and in um, November here in Minnesota Casiopeia is the one to look at so I just uh, line the North Star up with a dot on the inside and take your time and make sure she's uh, right lined up exactly perfect and if you take your time at it I'm telling you, man, it's uh, polar alignment. Uh, 
is quite spectacular. And then you can take longer exposure um, pictures of deeper objects. Um, I do have a tracking input, but I tell you, I've never been successful at that. It's, um, yeah, I'm a rookie myself, and I've just uh, never been su successful at that. So anyway, take your time, make sure she's level, and pull her a line, and do the very best you can, and I tell you, it will pay off. Uh, I bet you I can walk away from this laptop here and come back in about 15, 20 minutes and it'd still be right in the center there. So I had to show you guys that. Take care.